As the crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. Welcome to this Sunday night game. We expect a good one as the Texans get set to take on the Titans. Let's see how it plays out tonight as we get set for the opening kickoff. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. Crosby looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. This one is fielded by Robbins. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. So, John, we have two of the most talented defenses in the league featured in this game. Yeah, both of these teams bring a lot of talent to the table. Neither has any glaring holes in their front seven or in their secondary. So that makes it very dangerous on the defensive side of the ball. The Titans line up at a 4-3. is there for the tackle at the 22. Williams takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. Gets his hand on it. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. Johnson was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Third and eight. Ball on the 22 yard line. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Rowing. Vilma stops him short of the marker. He makes the catch, but they tackle him right away, so they'll be looking at fourth down right now. That's good defense. They didn't need to try anything fancy there. Just get him to the ground so he couldn't pick up the first down. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. And he waves for the fair catch. The ball on their own 37. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. Only one man back, going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. The wide receiver has it. Moley is there for the tackle. Chambers looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 47 yard line. Hey, watch that screen! The Texans come out in a 4 3. Receives the handoff. Wilson is there on the stop at the 47 yard line. So he picks up about five on that run, moving the chains in the process. The line did a great job there of blocking the backside pursuit, which helped him get the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here we go, baby. Hold the line. The Texans line up in a 4 3. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. The defensive line playing that one perfectly, John. Yeah, they sure did. What the offense was trying to do there was make it appear like it was a pass play and hand the ball off to the back after the defense goes flying by. Just didn't happen out there in that one. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Hey, watch the screen. Going to the left. The 40. McFadden comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. The defense was out of position on that run. You know, they caught him on a blitz on that play. And the thing about a blitz is you can throw him for a loss. The bad thing about a blitz is once you get through it, then you're into the secondary, and you'll usually get a big play. That time, it was a bad thing about the blitz. Looking for room. Wilson is there for the tackle. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. 
They got to find a hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. Ball on the 25 yard line. Watch a man. Let's go, boys. The Texans come out in a dime package. Follow, follow, follow. Keep moving. With the throw, knocked away. Good call by the defense as they sent the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. Third and inches. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Throws it. And the catch is made. Winfield is there for the tackle. That's a two-yard line. They convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. It's first and goal at the two. Only one man back. A little misdirection. Touchdown. And here's a case where you let your big guards and tackles and center do all the dirty work. And you just follow him in and get the touchdown. Comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. This one is taken by Roberts. It's still very early, but this is one of those spots where you'd like to be able to respond and put the ball in the end zone. The Titans with a four-man front. Batch with a man in motion. Heaving it over the middle. He has it. Number 30 is there on the stop at the 44. He did his job, found the single coverage, and delivers a perfect pass. First Ball on the 44-yard line. Ball on the 44-yard line. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. It's a blitz. Closing in. And in those situations where the rush is coming fast, you got to make a quick decision. Do I throw it away, try and hit my guy, or concede to the pressure? Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. The backs are lined up in an eye. He hands it off. Nelson comes up to make the play. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. Third down. They have to get it to the 34-yard line for a first. Batch sends a man in motion. Dropping back. Throwing. Pass falls incomplete. Griffin was there on the covers. Second 
Salam will try to have this one stop inside the 10. They'll spot this one where it went out. Ball on their own 18. Only one man in the backfield. Stroud comes up to make the play at the 22-yard line. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22-yard line. Houston using three linebackers. Wilson is there for the tackle, 10 to 30. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. First it's first and 10. The Texans with a four-man front. It's the call. Moley is there on the stop at the 36. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. Ball on their own 36. Can't avoid the run. What a tremendous individual effort by the defensive lineman. That's the kind of defensive player you can build a team around. Having a guy like that up front allows you to drop seven or eight guys back in coverage and still get a pass look. Third, Third and seven. Here we go, baby. Davis, the motion man. Me, me, me. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Complete as the defender knocks it away. He's a competitor out there. And he wants the ball in pressure situation. And you can usually count on him to get the first down for you. This time, he just couldn't hang on to it. Sastadil will come in now to punt it away. Robin is the deep return man. This one goes out of bounds. You know that the offense has their eyes set on tying this thing up here on this drive. We'll have to see what they're able to put together. It's first and ten. Everything you've got. Come on. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Closes it out to the left. Back breaks free. Plows it in. Number 30 is there on the stop. On the carry. William game fighting for yardage that time. He's able to reel off a nice game. First Ball on the 47-yard line. Ball on the 47-yard line. Yes, They'll go from the I formation. It's the toss to the left. Dilma comes up to make the play at the 41. This is one of those games where you just keep running it at him. Four yards here, five yards there, and loosen him up, and then when you knock him out late in the game with that long Second touchdown two. run. Ball on the 41 yard line. Throw right. Yes, right, man. The Titans line up in a 4 3. Peppers gets right in there and brings him down. Third down, they have to get it to the 37. The Titans come out in a dime package with the pass right on target to the wide receiver. Vilma is there for the tackle at the 37 yard line. Defense, get ready. 
Little misdirection. Pepper comes up to make the play. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Second and nine. They line up in the eye formation. Hands it off. Nelson is there for the tackle. Running the ball consistently is the first step in creating a balanced attack. The 27-yard line is the spot they'll have to get it to to convert on this third down play. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 7 0. Titans. And we're ready to start the second quarter. The 27 yard line is the spot they'll have to get it to to convert on this third down play. Only one man back. That's a little surprising. The receivers coach has been spending extra time with all his guys on offense working on mechanics and their technique. He told me that he's seen a big improvement. But a big drop on third down like that shows that they still need a little more work. Number 15. We're trying to come through with the field goal here. But the kick is good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. on their last drive. The ball on their own 36. Going to the air on first down. Throws it. Almost intercepted. Short had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Second and ten. Ball of the 36 yard line. Lynch the lone back. Let's go. Encroachment number 90. So he's called for down. encroachment. Yeah, he jumped early and touched an offensive player, and that forces the officials to blow the whistle. So now face five. second and five All here after the penalty. Yard line. The Texans with a four-man front. Fires this one deep. Almost picked off. He's back in his zone. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Third and five. Ball on the 41 yard line. Houston comes out in a 4 3. Pumps once. Under pressure, he goes down. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. Hey, you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact play. Sastadil comes into the game for the punt. Robin looks like he's ready for the return. From the 26 yard line. Robbins returns this one to the 36. Ball on their own 36. 
36-yard line. First and ten. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Here they come. This pass is incomplete. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. He hung in there. He didn't really have the time that he needed to make the play. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure come. Ball on the 36-yard line. Let's go, D. Let's go. The Titans with a four-man front. Gets the delay handle. They'll spot this one at the 36-yard line. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Ball on their own 36. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Titans come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. And it's caught. He gets the first down reception and then some. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Crosses it left. Number 57 is there on the stop. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Five yard game. Second and five. Ball on the 38 yard line. Stay at home. The Titans with a four man front. Throwing. Spotted at the 17 yard line. So that tackle now gives him four. They get first down yardage on that hookup. Ball on the 17 yard line. They give it to the halfback. Number 30 comes up to make the play at the 11 yard line. Williams kept his legs moving, gets seven hard earned yards. They're 11 yards away from the end zone. The Titans come out in a 4 3. Griffin is there on the stop at the eight yard line. Williams, and very little help up front, maybe a yard or two on the play. And now they're eight yards away from finishing this drive with a touchdown. The Titans with a four-man front. Floats one into the end zone. It's batted away. And this is an incredible play by the defender. You know, he didn't look like he would be there in time. But he jumped over the top of everyone, and he got his hand on it to knock it away. Just the point. Brown in to kick this one off. This one is fielded by Randall L. It's still pretty early, but it's been an even game so far. We'll have to see who can take control on this drive. <laughs> it's first and ten. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and ten. Houston goes with a four man front. With a counter play. 
Vrabel comes up to make the play at the 20 yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Only one man in the backfield. On the ground. Bowley is there for the tackle at the 27. When you talk about establishing the run early in the game, this is exactly the kind of thing you're talking about. It's third down with three to go. Lynch, the lone back. He gets the handoff on the door. Rabel is there on the stop at the 25. Not getting the first down that will probably bring out the punter. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. From the 33. Both teams have played pretty well so far. It's still anyone's game. The Texans will start the drive at the 40 yard line. First and 10. Going to the air on first down. Throwing. And he makes the grab. Nelson is there for the tackle at the 40-yard line. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. So they have first and 10 here. William, bone setback. Gets the pass off. Jonathan Goma picks it off. What an interception. Great position by Doma. And here's the thing. He's back there in his zone. And he's looking right at the quarterback's eye. And when the quarterback let it go, he was all over. gets the takeaway they're not set to go at the 36 Houston using three linebackers keep the throttle down tucks it away Bowley comes up to make the play at the 41 yard line it's important to pound the defense with a run sooner or later they're going to bend Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41 yard line. Defense, get ready. The Texans come out in a nickel package. On the carry. Play action. Gets the pass off. Winfield is there for the tackle at the 34. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Two-minute warning coming up. Let's go, Beatles. Rogers out of the gun. Hand it off. Smooth comes up to make the play at the 28. If they keep getting games like this, it could really open up things for them in the second half. Two minutes to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Blue there, blue there. Watch the snap now. Yeah, the Texans the line ball. up in a 4-3. Like Hands it off to the back. Stroud is there for the tackle at the 26. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. Third down, and they'll have to try to get it to the 24-yard line. 
to pick up a first down. The Texans with a four-man front. Hand it off. Mike Rabel makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. Can't get to the marker on third down, so let's see if the place kicker comes in now. Heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. The kick sails through. It's good. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it into the end zone every time. Sails out of the end zone. The last time the defense was on the field, they forced a bad throw, picked up the takeaway. So they have first and ten here. The Titans line up in a four-three. Throwing. The defenders got it. The 30, the 20, the 10. Bounce yeah, picks the wrong yeah, spot to throw to, and it'll be a turnover, John. Yep, sometimes you think you can sneak one by. But then the defense makes a great play on the ball and beats your receiver to it. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the three yard line. They got it into the end zone on their last red zone drive. They're going to spot this one at the three. And that tackle gives him three in the game. Big tackle there for a loss and great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare. And it really pays off when you make stops like that. It's second and goal at the three-yard line. They line up in the I formation. They give it to the halfback. Lynch takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Here we go. Huge play for both teams on third down. Two yards to go for the touchdown. Keep the throttle down. With the counter play, drop in the backfield for a short loss. No can do. The defense comes up with a stop on third and goal. This will be a chip shot. The field goal is is good. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get him a TD. Crosby comes in to kick off. This one is handled by Robbins. In the last series, they forced a bad pass and got the interception. And here's where efficiency is a key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. The Titans with a four-man front. Pass play here on first down. Launches this one to the right. Broken up. This defense, John, knows how to create a lot of pressure. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passing. But pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, bump them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving option, forcing him to just get rid of it. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Here comes the blitz. Throws it. Incomplete pass. 
John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. Only one man back. The rush is on. Pressure with the pass. Right on target to the wide receiver. Well, I don't know why you call a play that doesn't take your receiver past that first down marker. He's back to receive this kick. From the 42-yard line. And he goes out at the 49-yard line. Ball at about midfield. Start the drive at the 49 yard line. First and 10. The lineup of six defensive backs. He'll pass on first down. Fires this one deep. In and out of his hand. And good pressure forced him to get rid of the pass. Any way you look at it, an incomplete pass is a heck of a lot better than throwing it to the other guy. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Pressure coming, growing. Winfield pulls him down at the 30-yard line. That ball was thrown so hard, the defense never had a chance to make the play. In fact, I doubt they even saw it after it left his hand. Lynch, the lone back. He gets the count. He's brought down behind the line for a short pass. The defense made that play stretch further than the runner wanted to make it. Ball on the 30 yard line. The Titans call a timeout. That's their final timeout. So this will be a 48-yard attempt from the 38-yard line. It's good. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Crosby is just about ready to kick this one away. Scrub kick. From the 20. And this should be the last play of the hand. 41 yards. Let's go, be good. He'll pass on first down. Gets the pass off for the adjustment. Oh, comes up to make the play at the 47-yard line. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. The Titans ahead of the Texans. 16-6. Brown will be kicking off.
This one is handled by Randall L. Tennessee already leading in this one. Sends their offensive unit back onto the field. Chris Chambers was taken out earlier with a minor injury, but now returns to the game. Houston goes with a four-man front. On the carry. Wistrom is there on the stop at the 24. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Second and six. Houston lines up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He likes to run in behind his blockers and then make a cut off their hip for a big game. But that strategy didn't work here. Ball on their own 23. Lynch, the lone setback, looking upfield, closing in, throwing, no completion, and he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz, and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack, and that time he just missed taking him down. Right. Offense couldn't get it done, and the lineup to punt. From the 36-yard line, Roberts doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with, getting it to the 42. They'll start the drive at the 42-yard line. First and 10. No stop, no stop, that motor. Do something, do something. With the carry, fakes the handle, gets the pass off, this pass is incomplete. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. Second and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. All on us, y'all. The Titans come out in a 4-3. They're blitzing. Stepping up. As these quarterbacks become running quarterbacks, you need defensive ends like Julius Pepper. Those quarterbacks can run with speed, then you better have someone that can run with speed who's trying to catch them. They're looking now at third and long after the set. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Deep throw. So what the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're pulling. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Salah is ready to punt this one away. Randall out. Lines up deep for the punt return. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 28 yard line. The Titans will start the drive at the 28 yard line. First and 10. Watch the man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Going to the air on first down. With the throw, the wide receiver has it. That was a good adjustment by the receiver as he reads the main coverage and finds open space. The thing with these option routes is everyone has to make their read quickly and make their adjustments quickly. Running option routes and running them effectively takes a lot of repetition and practice. The Texans come out in a dime package. Steps up, throws it. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. 
second and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Texans come out in a nickel package. They'll go with a play fit. Under pressure. Looking comfortable in the pocket. Gets rid of it. It's broken up. Bryant was the intended receiver on that play. Wilson with the coverage. Third and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Dropping back. All kinds of time. Gets the pass off. Sliding to the ground and he has it. And he's knocked out of bounds. At the 48, he gets the pass to his receiver who will come up just short of the first down. Never sure why a quarterback chooses that pass instead of one deeper downfield on that third down situation. Robin sets up to run back the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. So they'll down at the two-yard line and put the offense now in a very difficult position. I'll tell you, that was one heck of a punt. And those gunners did a great job getting down there and down on the ball. First ball on the one-yard line. Ball on the one-yard line. Get it, get it, get it. Tucks it away. Pressure. The Titans get the safety. Salam lines up for the free kick. From the 36-yard line. We're just about ready to get this drive started after being forced to punt on their last possession. The Titans will start the drive at the 47-yard line. First and ten. The Texans come out of the fourth three. Foley is there for the tackle at the 47-yard line. Lynch takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Ball right around midfield. Here we come. Houston comes out in their nickel pack. Gets the pass off. Ooh, and nearly picked off. Short had his hands on it. I think he was invisible the out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Rogers goes to work with an empty backfield. Drops back. Rowing. Picked off. It's intercepted. Antoine Winfield is a very good cover guy. A very good corner. When they pass, you'll see most teams staying away from his side of the field. And with that kind of play, you can see why. So they're ready to go on offense after the interception. They'll start at the 45-yard line. Batch with a man in motion. Launching the pass deep down the right side. What a catch. Griffin is there for the tackle at the seven-yard line. Babbitt wins the battle in the secondary and comes up with the big play. Yeah, and they said you want to play zone, and we'll just throw in the windows. And that's exactly what they did. They have seven yards to the end zone. The last red zone trip resulted in a field goal. Keeping him at the Hood is there on the stop at the two-yard line. Williams busted through for a few tough yards. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition.
It's second and goal at the two. Trying to get to the pylon. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. He's had some decent run, but he's not putting up the kind of yardage that they were hoping for. It's third and goal at the six-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Batch with a man in motion. Rosen makes the catch. Touchdown, Texans. Watch this catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target, and his skills sometimes cause matchup problems for the defense. The extra point attempt is good. That was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalty. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. Is back and ready to put this one in the air. Sends it sailing. This one is taken by Randall L. Puts it on the ground. The Titans pick it up. Almost a turnover on the kickoff. to make the play at the 25. Lynch with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Ball on their own 25. Bring it up, bring it up. The Texans with a four-man front. He gets the count. Wilson is there on the stop at the 32. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. First, First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Gave it off to the back. Stroud is there for the tackle at the 36. This guy always gives maximum effort on every play. It doesn't matter if you're asking him to run between the tackles or outside. He just takes a ball and refuses to be brought down by the tackler. Second and six. No more, fellas. now. Only one man back. Rogers sends a man in motion. Hand it off. Smooth comes up to make the play at the 45. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. It's first and ten. Houston goes with a four-man front. With a counterplay. Bowley is there on the stop at the 49-yard line. And he picks up about four. Ball right around seconds. midfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. Clear! Clear! Here we go. Yeah. Houston lines up in a 4-3. Gets the handoff on the delay. They're going to spot this Clear. one at on the 48-yard line. No it's three tackles so far for him today. Third it's third and down six. and six to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Setting up play action. 
Throwing. Almost intercepted. Tennessee comes up short on third down, and that's been the recurring theme here today. They're just not getting into good third down situations, which means that there are problems on first and second down. Sastadil will come in now to punt it away. Robin into return. And he signals for the fair catch. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Out of the eye formation. On the ground. Number 30 is there on the stop. On the carry. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Second and a deuce. Ball on the 28 yard line. No stop, no stop that motor. Not today. The Titans line up at a 4 3. Hand it off to the back. Number 57 comes up to make the play at the 33. That's a good job of separating out of the defensive lineman. They created a crack. He saw it and made his move. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33 yard line. All day, baby. Come on. Williams, the deep back. Batch with a man in motion. Humps trying something to the left. Almost picked off. He goes deep downfield and is lucky it's not picked off. That's one of those times when you see a guy make a great play in the ball but not come up with a catch. Second and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. It's showtime, baby. They saw The Titans with a four man front. Boy, the counter play. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. And they'll face a long third down here. On the 32-yard line. Throws it. Pass ball's incomplete. That was his intended target. Good. And the coverage on the ball. Salam comes into the game for the punt. Randall L. Back to return. From the 39. Randall L. Returns this one to the 47. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Titans ahead of the Texans. 18 13. And we'll start the fourth quarter. The ball right around the field. First and 10. The Texans with a four-man front. Pass play here on first down. Throws it. And it's caught. Winfield is there on the stop at the 40. Chris Chambers is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Houston comes out in their nickel package. No pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Wilson comes up to make the play at the 29. Now that's a quick relay. The quarterback decided where he wanted to go with it, and boom, it was in the receiver's hand. Ball on the 29-yard line. Lynch, the lone setback. 
Roger sends a man in motion. Lobs one into the end zone. This pass is incomplete. Good effort to deflect that pass, which had a big yardage written all over it. Second and ten. Ball on the 29 yard line. Houston comes out in the quarter defense. Gets rid of it. Knocked away. He was watching the quarterback the whole time. You have to look defenders off your receiver before you try and get them to pass. Number 83 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. The Texans come out in a dime package. A gun lion is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 27-yard line. Lynch appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. This is going to be about a 45-yard field goal attempt. The kick sails through. It's good. Following the field goal, the score is 21-13. Titans. Crosby in to kick this one off. This one is handled by Robbins. Down by a touchdown, going on offense, time running out. Doesn't get a whole heck of a lot better than this. Chris Chambers is back in there after getting taken out with an injury earlier. They'll go from the I formation. The rush is on. Throws it, jumps up, and comes down with it. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Let's go, D, let's go. Well, earlier we saw the injured player heading back to the locker room, and right now they don't know how serious it is, but his return in this game is doubtful. Harris comes up to make the play at the 41. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. It's second down and eight to go. We're talking about we going to take it. Williams lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Number 57 is there on the stop at the 44. Williams takes the pitch for a gain of three. Let's make it four. Third and four. They line up in the eye formation. Rosen. Drops the interception. Adam was the intended receiver on that play. Good. Who's there on the cover? Well, if the defense can stop him one more time, they'll get it back. Dropping back. Going for the deep man. Nearly intercepted. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed. And it's worse because now the other team has the ball. The Titans will start the drive at the 44-yard line. First and 10. Houston lines up with seven guys in the secondary. Pressure coming. Dragged down from behind. The Texans are there to pick up the ball. Here's an open. The 20. The 10. 
Touchdown, Texans. That fumble return could very much be the momentum shifter they need as they climb back in it. Big play. If they convert here, we're tied up. With a counter play, keeping it with them. Well, isn't that something? And let's see how that one plays out. They just couldn't get it in there when they needed it. Brown looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. This one is taken by Randall L. The offense has a chance to put this one away with this possession. They just have to be careful and protect the ball. The ball on their own will 20. start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Rogers out of the gun. Davis, the motion man. Pass play here on first down with the throw. And it's caught. Smoot is there on the stop at the 33 yard line. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. First it's and first ten. and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. Carlton, the lone back. Gets the call. Slips the tackle. Stroud comes up to make the play at the 43-yard line. He just overran the play. Watch it right here. He's lunging. He's off balance. The ball carrier breaks free, and he picks up the first down. Takes it up the middle, picks up less than a yard. That was just a burst of power from the defensive line. Ball on their own 43. Rodgers looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Rowing. It's broken up. He has a great feel for defending the pass. He always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Third and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. Watch the ball Houston with six defensive backs. They give it to the halfback. Big pop that time. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming out. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Sastaville is ready to pump this one away. Robin sets up, waiting for the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Flags are down, and this one appears to be on the offense. On the receiving team. Penalties and takeaways are just as big a factor in some games as effective offense. The team that stays mistake-free usually wins the game. Ball at their own 10. Ball on the 10-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. Hey, watch the screen. The Titans line up in a 4-3. With a counter play, he's brought down behind the line for a short loss. They didn't fool anybody with that play call. The defense knew what was coming, and they shut that thing down quickly. It's second down and a long way to go. 
The Titans come out in a 4-3. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. And he makes no, he can't hold it in. True. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Third and 13. Ball on the seven yard line. Batch scans the defense from the gun. Watch the ball be smart. Rolling. Broken up. He has a knack for making a big play. And that was another one right there. Johnson was his intended target. Randall out is the deep return man. Andy waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 48 yard line. First Ball ten. right around midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. Tucks it away. Rabel comes up to make the play at the 46-yard line. Carl battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Two-minute warning coming up. Ball on the 46-yard line. Play football. Houston goes with a four-man front. Hands it off to the back. Oh, he's there on the stop. Carlton takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Almost at the two minute mark now. They convert on this third down. They have to reach the 38. In this direction. Mike Frabel has put on a tackling clinic so far. He's now up to eight in the game. The Texans call a timeout. They have two remaining. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Robbins will go back to accept this punt. Fair catch. This is just the kind of situation they were hoping for. Now all they need to do is put together a last minute drive and they're gonna come away with a win. And now it's up to the defense to shut them down. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Dropping back to pass on first down. Fires this one deep. It's caught. Hood is there for the tackle at the 31 yard line. The coach is having them hurry it up. Stops the clock with that timeout. First and ten. The Titans line up at a 4 3. Nelson is there on the stop. I'd be surprised to see anything but a basic run on the second down play. There's no need to pass since they're in great position for the field goal. Right now they just need to focus on using up time and centering the ball for their kicker. Looking upfield. Jonathan Goma is one of the most formidable tacklers in the league. Wraps up another one there that's number seven for him. On third down now, they have to get it to the 21-yard line to pick up a first. 
I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. They'll head right back to the line. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets rid of it. And this pass is completed. Number 57 comes up to make the play at the one-yard line. They're going to go with a no huddle. Terry goes in motion. Closing in. So a fly to the end zone. And it will be an interference call on that play. The only question was if the defender or the receiver. If there hadn't been any interference, it might have been a touchdown. Yeah, but they gave him the ball on the one-yard line, so they're only delaying the inevitable. After the penalty, it's now first and goal. He's there on the stop at the one. He's trying to get them back to the line. Throws to the end zone for the late lead. Terry dropped a sure touchdown on that play. Today. Usually he's pretty reliable around the goal line. And they really do like to go to him whenever they need a big catch. He just got to do a better job of watching the ball into his hand. It's third and goal at the one-yard line. With a man in motion. Looking for the goal line. Touchdown, Texans. I'll tell you, they just knocked that defensive line backwards on that play. Watch it here. The offensive line explodes off the ball. The defense can't get any penetration, and the runner is in the end zone. will be kicking off. Squib kick here. From the 22-yard line. He's pushed out at the 29-yard line. We've got a good one going here today. The quarterback trying to get his team closer here on first down. And it's every quarterback's dream to drive his team down and throw the touchdown that brings him back. I'll tell you, he wants nothing more than to do that right here. Rodgers will work out of the shotgun. Going to the air on first down. Throwing. And he drops the pass. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Second and ten. Ball on the 29 yard line. All right, here we go. Carlton comes in motion. Well protected. Throws it. He finds his man. Keeps his feet over. Mike Rabel has been all over the field. Just made his late stop on that play. In today's offenses, it's more important than ever that these receivers to make something happen after they catch the ball. Short passes can turn into long gains when you have guys that can really fly. Kick and sack. Makes the shot. Stroud records the sack. When you think about guys who have a big heart, this guy has to be at the top of the list. He just never lets up out there. He brings him down for the second time in the game. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score. Houston, 25. Tennessee, 21. 
This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.